doomsday machine? No, I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. It's never meant to be used. So strong, it could destroy both sides of the war. Something like the old H-bomb was supposed to be. You're talking to the world's greatest optimist. Years ago, I never understood when people said the bomb's gonna go off. I don't, I don't understand things, things like that. People said this is gonna happen or we're gonna have this. I don't think those things happen. I really, I think everything goes ahead for the good. I assume that is what you use to destroy disintegration chamber number 12. A very efficient weapon, I'm not afraid of using it. My first impression was correct. You are a barbarian. I am a cynical optimist. I think that there is a spark of nobility in the human soul. Any, any race, it seems, any species, it seems to me, that can paint the Sistine Chapel ceiling, that can put someone on the moon, that can write Moby Dick, is in some ways godlike. I don't think we need to rely on any great mystical bearded entities up in the, up in the clouds somewhere. We got it all within us, but we settle for so much less. Put an end to it. Make peace. There can be no peace. Don't you see? We've admitted it to ourselves. We're a killer species. It's instinctive. It's the same with you. All right. It's instinctive. Well, the instinct can be fought. We're human beings with the blood of a million savage years on our hands. But we can stop it. I think there are glitches and blips along the way, but in the, in, at, at, in, in the end, Everything goes along for the good. And so uh, that's one of the reasons that I enjoyed working on the original Star Trek series, because we dealt with everything is going to be good. And you know something? It was and it will be. See this chair I'm sitting on? This is is a chair that came uh, after this came when we got on the air. Do you know where the chair came from? I will tell you where the chair came. From. We're now preparing uh, the pilot. We don't have much money, and as we're talking about Matt Jeffries, who is going to design everything? Now we need chairs for the captain and the rest of the people. I mean, on the bridge. Kirk, okay, what is it? I'm getting reports from every deck. Half the people on the ship just fainted. The answer is, let's speak to Matt. And the answer is, you can't buy them. Can we afford to make them? No, we can't afford to make them. At the time, I happened to have just bought a breakfast set from Knoll Furniture. And it, it was a, the Knoll Tulip Chair. said to the guys, you know, why don't you send someone to the house and look at this thing? If it makes sense, use it. Next thing we, we knew, we had this. We had a knoll chair. And uh, we cut some holes in the back, and that became the future. And the future has continued with this chair. That's how things happen. <laughs> Surrounded by enemy vessels ready to attack us. I don't know of anything more urgent than that. Scotty. Energize. I'm going to bob your ears. Captain, please go. 